Thank you for the interview today, Dr. Sidi. Thank you. It is summer 2010, and we are here at New Tech MediWorld in New Delhi, India. And I'm suffering since six years now from late stage chronic neurologic Lyme disease. And I heard I am the first patient from Germany, is that right? Oh, you heard right. But there have been many patients with chronic Lyme from the United States you already treated, is that yes, right? Yes, we had a number of patients from the United States. How are the improvements in chronic Lyme disease cases, especially in the severe neurologic Lyme cases? What have you seen? In Lyme cases, we have seen fantastic improvements. The improvements have been exceptional. It's not just a chronic neurological type of Lyme. Uh, Lyme affects basically the each and every part of the body. So we had patients suffering with Lyme disease for around 10 years, 12 years. Every part of their body severely affected. And we have been able to bring about a complete reversal. We have made them ab absolutely okay. They are now functional. They are now productive. They are now working. Wonderful. Yeah. So they are almost asymptomatic? I'll so say absolutely asymptomatic off medications and absolutely not. That's very interesting. And you do also, when the patient is arriving, you do a SPECT scan, and after the nine weeks treatment, you do it again? Yes, like the protocol says that whenever the patient comes, he comes here with a pre-diagnosed condition. That is, we are talking about Lyme disease, so they, their Lyme doctor should give their prescription saying that this patient is suffering from Lyme disease for so many years, and we want a baseline test, like all the blood investigations and everything. Here we do all the other investigations, including the split scan. We do ECG, echocardiography, ultrasound, and other things, just to see like how the baseline condition is of their body. So, spec scan, yes, it is an important part of our uh, And I saw some spec scans uh, from patients when they're done, and the improvement is amazing. So yes, like spec scan is very important because it tells us about the blood flowing to the brain, how the blood is flowing, how the perfusion pattern is. Most of the neurological symptoms are because of lack of oxygen, lack of nutrition. That is because the damage done by the Lyme bacteria and the co-infection. What we have seen after this condition, we do a spec scan. After the treatment, we do a spec scan. And we have seen significant, significant improvement. I can say we have seen normalization of the blood flow of the brain. That's awesome. And um, could you please explain us the potential of the steam cells, especially the healing potential of the embryonic steam cells from Dr. Gita Shroff here in India? Yes, Dr. Gita Shroff is the only one who is uh, doing embryonic stem cell therapy in the whole of the world. She has been doing it for the past nine years without any side effects. Almost all our patients have shown, shown improvements, varying degrees, some little less, a few absolute improvements. 100% recovery. Embryonic stem cells are the most powerful stem cells. Better than fetal, better than umbilical, better than the adult stem cells, bone marrow cells. They are the most powerful. They have the capacity to convert into any type of cell. They have the capacity to convert into any type of tissue or organ. They have so much of plasticity. Here in India, at New Tech Medieval, we are doing embryonic stem cells, and we have seen improvements in almost each and every case. Not only Lyme, everything, every yeah. other neurological, every other neurodegenerative disease. This brings me now to the other medical conditions. So can you tell me a few medical conditions um, which are treatable with this um, stem cells yes. too? So. We have patients ranging from 70 days old kid Yes. to 82-year-old gentlemen. Diseases covered are as varied as cerebral palsy to genetic disorder like autism, Down syndrome. We have got metabolic disorders like Trigler-Nazar and other disorders. We have got neurodegenerative disorders like multiple sclerosis, motor neuron disease, ALS, Parkinson, dementia, Alzheimer's. We have spinal cord injury patients. We have diabetic mellitus patient, any disease which is incurable or deemed as terminal, we are treating here. We are doing it under the condition of Indian Council of Medical Research, Government of India, 
we have to take permission and we have got permission for treating all incurable and ter terminal cases. Great. So um, again, the stem cells from Dr. Schwab are unique in the world and uh, it's the only cell line that can be injected without any animal ingredients. Um, right. This is right. very important to Absolutely. me. So this product is a pure biologic product, right? Absolutely. Absolutely right. Wonderful. And again, you have not seen any side effects from this embryonic stem cell treatment. Not even one single side effect. We have treated almost around 800 cases now. Yeah. And not even one small side effect. This is amazing. And um, what is pretty interesting, um, you have been the first Indian medical practitioner who has been in the U.S. for ILATS Lyme Physician Training. Yes, you're right. And I really appreciate that. And Thank you. This is amazing. And you told me you were working with Dr. Spooza right. Lyme Literated MD. Absolutely right. And um, he sent also patients his patients um, to India and is very impressed about the improvements the patients showing when they come back. Right, his first patient was Amy Sher. Um, she came over here. He was very skeptical at that time. And now Amy is working full time. She's living alone. She's living fantastic, a wonderful young life. He saw those improvements. He was very impressed. He sent a few more patients. They got well. He said, I need to visit this clinic. He came to our clinic last year, now um, January, February 2009. Yes. Yeah. He came, he visited, he was extremely, extremely impressed. He told me, like, listen, I think you need a little more client training and you will do wonderful. He Great. called me there. I went for a patient training program under ILADS, worked under Dr. Stephen Harris. So yes, you were right in all this assumption. Thank you. Fantastic. So what are your impressions? Let's, let us go back to Lyme disease. Yeah. What are your thoughts um, surrounding Lyme disease? Would you agree with me that this disease is really serious and it's easy to catch and hard to treat and even hard to diagnose? Would you agree on this point? Whatever you have said is absolutely, absolutely right. This is a disease which is like persistent everywhere in each and every part of the United States, Germany, Europe and other places. Very difficult to diagnose because it mimics symptoms of many other diseases. People are really scared, the doctors are really scared of diagnosing it as Lyme disease. It's kind of a taboo word. Uh, at least for the United States, I can say where I've been, it's a taboo. They're scared of diagnosing it as a chronic Lyme disease. Absolutely. Yeah, so once you don't diagnose it, the treatment is not there. Excellent. You cannot give the treatment. So once you have diagnosed it wrong, you give wrong treatment, the patient suffers. Absolutely. And over the period of time, this Lyme disease can do extremely, extremely bad to the patient's body. Absolutely. So this is pretty amazing. This could be um, a lot of hope uh, for a lot of patients out in the world suffering from incurable, devastating diseases. Yes. And I want to thank you so much for this interview today and um, all the best wishes for your future career. Thank you. And thank you very much for doing this interview today. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Great.